Okay, last thing I'm going to say, and then y'all can go enjoy your Sundays. But how come when a black woman says she wants to date outside her race, or when a black woman marries a white man or Asian or Hispanic, whatever, right? We get so much backlash, so much ridicule. But as a black man, especially if they're of a certain status or level or they make a certain amount of money and they have, you know, a white wife or Asian or Hispanic or some sort of mixed race as their wife, companion, mother of their children, it's like they get a pass. Black women don't get that pass, right? We, we, we're we looked at as like a sellout, right? Like, oh, why is she, why is she dating this white man? Why is she with this Asian guy? Why she couldn't get a black brother? We tried it with y'all. Y'all don't want us. Oh, shit. Here we go again. And then as soon as we go to the people that do want us, it's a problem. Make it make sense. Uh, there's no way this woman is not drunk or inebriated whatsoever. Like, this sounds absolutely ridiculous. She must really not pay attention to social media or she's just trolling she has to be trolling at this point because it's typically the black women that get upset that the attractive men that they want which are far and few in between the guys that they would actually drop everything and go for that are getting with women of different ethnic backgrounds it's not that you women are going with i'm talking about american black women going and dealing with uh guys of other ethnic backgrounds we don't care you are the more pickier ones you're the ones who, whose preferences are black men but the type of black man is the issue why a lot of you guys are single or sharing this guy on the low and you don't even know it or you know you know it maybe but that's the thing men especially black men we are not that particular we just like women in general we don't care your color your race your ethnic background any of that your creed we don't care men can deal with multitudes of women from different ethnic backgrounds as long as they're attractive beautiful feminine fit friendly and they're not a headache for us to deal with men are very easy in general not just black men but men of all cultures men of all races we can deal with multiple ethnic backgrounds of women but it's black women american black women specifically who can only date within their race because that's what they want that is their preference when you do it statistically when you ask them when you do polls they specifically want their own men so we don't get it we don't get upset she may have not ever like been on the internet unless she's trolling and seeing that there are more complaints coming from the sisterhood on her side on her gender about us than us about them because we don't care she don't she don't know nothing about the passport bros we can get our passport and go and deal with other women from other countries from other races and it's not an issue for us but her people on her side her gender her side of the spectrum her sisterhood they have an issue with us dating over there they always say bye go over there go deal with those women they're going to take advantage of you go over there go 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 pander to those women let those women take you for a visa we don't say that to those women we laugh because they talk all this crap and nonsense about us but then they go and do it and then they don't have the same result we laugh at them, but hey, go ahead and do it. You have the freedom. So she's got to be trolling or she's got to be drunk. This is ridiculous. One McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you are grown man working in a fast food restaurant is okay something is wrong with you if you consider that a high value man you're absolutely wrong okay there's nothing high value about making seventy thousand a year the only reason women like this complain about this is because they cannot extract from men that are only making 70k because their standards are too high the things that they want are completely out of their league and should not even be a part of their imagination and they want men that are making sometimes probably over two hundred thousand dollars a year not knowing that under like 15 to 10 percent of people actually make that in the country that they live in which is the united states so if you can't extract from a man they don't want it so they're going to have an issue about it but with men it's completely different we don't care because if we're making the bread we're making a certain amount of money if we go overseas with that 70 to a hundred thousand dollars a year then we will actually find it more attractive if we see a woman working fast food or retail especially a woman that looks like this a value will date down and date the girl who works a nine to five at sea but a woman of value would never even look that guy's way You see, it's so much easier for men to go overseas and get a woman 
because we don't look for the same things that women look for. We don't look for the woman's finances. A woman can work at KFC like this woman in Colombia, be sexy as hell, and a man will take her serious, making that 70 to 100K or more without an issue. But the only way that loudmouth in that video that was talking all that craziness about men working retail, the only way that she can get what she wants is extracting from pay pigs, suckers, simps, and sugar daddies. Other than that, she will never be able to get a man's attention any other way. She might get him to, you know, screw her for two hours and get kicked out of his hotel room on the top floor in the hotel suite, you know what I'm saying, the presidential, but that's it. She will never get anything more or anything less. So keep on fooling those losers and we'll, we'll keep picking baddies that look way better than you with their natural hair, better bodies, better attitudes that are working at KFC because men don't look for what you look for in us. I feel like with you guys, you're like, oh, like she's been passed around the whole team. We can't wipe you up because you had A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And she's like, okay, but like I was in my face and like I like you. And I feel like a lot of guys won't like concentrate on that one girl because she's been passed around. I'll be real with you. If she's been passed around and I know who she's been passed around with, yeah, can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather not know. Because I know everybody passed, so yeah. I'm not going to go attacking you about your past. But That's if I true. know the guys that you've been with, especially if I'm close with them, mm -hmm. no chance. To keep it a buck with you guys, women dislike this because they think they can have their fun when they're in their prime and then when they want to come settling down, late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, they're like, well, I had a past. Why does that matter? That's the thing. Just like the high school hoe. Nobody wanted to date the high school hoe. Everybody just ran through her. Nobody wanted to take her serious. It's sort of the same case with women in these 304s nowadays doing their thing. And the thing is, whether what that guy said is if I know who you've been ran through, that's even worse. But men that are really good with women that can pick up on traits, pick on behaviors, like pick up on those things, they'll know if the woman has a promiscuous past or not because they've dealt with so many women. And men, we have pattern recognition just like women do. And for some reason, women think that men are not that smart. We don't have pattern recognition and we will not find out that they've had a past, but that is far from the truth. Guys that are really good can just see it in these women. Even if they perform on us, we're like, okay, she probably performed this on a bunch of dudes. Why is she so good in this area? Why is she so good when she goes downtown? How does she know how to arch her back that way? Why is this so like this? Why is this like that? Guys are not dumb. Guys can put two and two together if they've been with a lot of women and they've experienced a lot of women with these tendencies, but women hate it. But hey, that's just how it goes. Just like I said, the high school whole example, women have to take that into account because men are not going to deal with you. And it's even worse if men know who you smashed and if the guy gave details. Because if I know the guy too, and he smashed, and I know what type of dude, he a dog like me, I know that you was doing all types of things, doing all types of gymnastics and Olympic moves that, <laughs> that should only be, you know, so, you know given to a man that you're dealing with seriously but if you're just giving it away for one night jump off why should we take you serious we're not another reason why i really stopped listening to red pill content on youtube is because majority of them would try to lump up all black women in a negative light but then non-black women y'all want to praise them and make it seem like oh they so submissive they not like the black women here or they're not americanized blah say blah say until you get your wake-up call and they do treat you the same way that you know us black women treat you over here then all of a sudden you want to make excuses for it or try to pander or like backpedal and shout out to jason black for calling that out and other fellow youtubers that was pretty much ass kissing uh the fellow youtuber just pearly things and she's facing backlash uh for the interview that she did with nick fuentes pretty much disrespecting black americans and low-key disrespecting africans and some of y'all so game goofy y'all will sit here and talk about us on your platform but and have other people talk about our problems that we have in our community but do you think they'll do that with you hell no that's why she's showing her true colors that she's going to side for the people that look like her nobody has a problem with you being a passport bro oh, here we go again but they see how y'all treat us or how we talk to each other and also shout out to Otis from cruise season when he said y'all weak you are weak if you'll put down women and try to put your relationship problems on black women when you're really not trying to take the women over there seriously you just trying to have and reap wifely duty well man first of all red pill content i don't know why you were watching it because it's not for women red pill content is for men it's for men to get out of the matrix escape women like you with your mindsets 
especially American women and women in the West, and just understanding the differences between a man's power and what a female tries to hold as their power. Understanding the difference between male and female dynamics. So you probably was listening to that content, was starting to take it in because you're looking for a man, you're looking to see how men actually think, and you didn't like the truth. So what you did is you reverted right back to the sisterhood, tried to bring in just pearly things, and she mentioned Nick Fuentes, so this has to be old. So she already disavowed Nick Fuentes, I'm meaning just pearly things. So I don't know this crap about race and saying she only cares about, you know, uh, her people and this should be for her. No, just pearly things gets under your skin because she actually understands what's going on with you guys now in 2024 and beyond. She knows that you guys are full of crap and she knows that you guys are not wives. She knows that you guys have made tons of mistakes, tons of sins that you guys can't come back from. And there's a mindset that men are just not going to be able to shake out of you. So why bother? So only people that you can get to understand your plight or try to get on your bandwagon and your nonsense are plantation bros, these pander bears, and these guys that are sitting around trying to uh, give you any type of semblance to keep you guys going because you guys are this this movement is dying off and men are starting to get their passports and go overseas so what does she do she reverts back to sign language back to the sisterhood saying men only want to go over there to have sex with these beautiful women that don't look nothing like you that offer way more than you do and benefit from wifey duties the thing is she's upset and this gets under her skin because we don't have to go through these type of women anymore these women don't hold that power anymore. The thing is, we don't have to go through them. We don't have to jump through their hoops to get, you know, uh, sex, to get uh, a woman to cook us a meal. We don't have to do all this craziness. Men can just get their passports and we have options that they don't have overseas. And we can go overseas and get what we want. Men typically want sex. And after the sex, it's on the woman to see, you know, and try to convince a man to put them in a relationship because men hold the keys to relationship. Women hold the keys to sex. And that's what she doesn't seem to understand. So all this sign language is not going to help her in the end. She's just going to have to buy a dog, buy a plant, buy a cat, buy a dog, buy a vibrator, buy box wine, and just watch Lifetime for the rest of her days because men are just not going for it. And this is what really, really, really messes with women's psyche because they cannot control men anymore. They don't, men don't have to go through them to get what they want anymore because women will put stipulations, even though they're not worth those stipulations, women will make you jump through fire hoops, jump over the line, go into the lion's den. We don't have to do that anymore. That's what it's like. Well, how are we going to get any? How are we going to benefit? Because women always look to benefit off of men, whether it's time, attention, resources or uh, some type of validation. So now men have options that they don't have and they can go overseas. Men can get sex. Men can get a relationship and men can get options. They don't like that because they used to hold the deck here in the United States and in the Western countries. It's over. It's done. So guys. All we have now from them is a bunch of sign language. That's all we have, guys. Sign language. That is it. So now we can get the sex if we want. And if we really like a girl, we can put her in a relationship. And she'll do way more. She'll look way better than these negative twos who come on here and talk to TikTok because men aren't buying this. Maybe there's one or two guys that don't even know who this woman is. And they may say something or comment or she may comment on somebody else thinking that they're a part of, you know, whatever she has going on in the sisterhood. But those guys always come to their senses. Those guys say whatever they want to say, a.k.a. Derek Jackson. They say one thing and do another because guys know the truth. Men can only pander to women for so long until the truth comes out. And the truth is, guys, it's time to get your passport if you haven't already. Even to you simps, you beta males, you plantation bros, it's time to get your passport, guys. Go see what's out there. Go see your options. Go see the difference. And she mentioned, oh, when those women overseas, they stop acting uh, like, you know, uh, submissive and they stop acting like how you want them to act and they start acting like uh, American black women, you guys revert and you guys want to spend the block. That's not true. That's very minuscule. She's been watching too much 90 Day Fiance. That's satire nonsense. Those lies. Everything to try to combat what the passport bros are doing. So they come up with these stupid shows. 
because it's socially acceptable to talk crazy about men, but it's not socially acceptable in this country and other Western countries to talk about women. But guess what? Men are talking. We're talking with our passports. We're talking with these trips, with these vlogs, with our channels, and they don't like it. So guess what? You can cry all you want, but men, our power is the ultimate power. And the only time a woman has her best power is her greatest power is when a man doesn't understand his own. When he doesn't understand his value, when he knows that uh, I can get out of here and I can go and I have options elsewhere and you're just going to be stuck alone while I'm having a great time, having the time of my life, spending a smaller percentage of my money, not on a crazy day with a mediocre chick, but with a baddie that's going to come back, going to ride the pony, going to when I wake up, she's going to be in there cooking, cleaning and trying to lock me down. That is what they hate the most. But hey, it is what it is, man. And I say, get your passport. Keep doing it, man. Keep making these channels because this is the only way they will understand is with action. My ex straight up told me, I do not see myself falling in love with you. I have fallen in love with my first ex. She was my ideal type. Listen, listen to this. It gets worse. She was my ideal type. When I saw her, it was love at first sight. It was just like magnetic. And then my second ex, I really wasn't that attracted to her that much, but I still had, I was in love with her. There was just this, there was just this feeling. But with you, you're beautiful. You are beautiful, but there's just that feeling just not there. And when I tell you girls, I spiraled my, my esteem spiraled spiraled out of control that's no lie when they say these men humble you when you are out of their league they still find a way to humble you just know there are no lies there are no lies i had to stop it right there because clearly you know she says that this guy is out of her league and um she's never heard this before and i've dealt with these narcissistic type women like this on a daily basis they think highly of themselves and they've never been told anything of the truth and they've never been told anything less than sugar so what it is is the woman was the issue in this situation the woman was the one that has a problem in the relationship that's why the guy said what he said although i do not you know ever advocate for a man falling in love with a woman because men you know they tend to get all heart based and they start losing a logic and reason let the woman fall in love and you can have love for the woman always be prepared to walk away but that's the thing she's probably never dealt with a guy like that that actually said this actually been honest with her and told her the truth even if this is not the truth she's never heard anything of this magnitude so it's hitting her like a ton of bricks and she is not able to process this and notice that she says oh well when you got give a guy a chance that's out of your league how the hell is the guy out of your league when you went on more than five dates with them that doesn't make sense women typically don't go on dates women typically don't give time attention and effort to guys that are not better than them or they think that they are deserving of the league to be in so that's just her being you know narcissistic upset mad about the situation that he even said this in the first place because nobody probably ever spoke to her or told her the truth or told her off before you know what i'm saying so she's like well how could he say this and he he's got to not be in my league and all this nonsense when the guys that you dealt with before probably didn't say anything to you supposedly dated you for three months aka smashed you you know what i'm saying just to put you on the roster and then kicked you off the roster later <laughs> that is that simple but let's keep going and see what she has to say this is the same man that would show off my pictures to his co-workers to his clients that he was making sales on, you know, cause he was into solar panels and all that, whatever energy sales. And he was like, oh my God, they always say you're so beautiful. I always show you off. And I was really flattered with that. Translation, when a guy shows you off, he's pretty much saying, look at what I'm hitting. Look what I bagged. You know what I'm saying? Look at my status. This is just one of the girls on my roster. And the reason why he would tell you those things, because if he would have told you, hey, you're a part of my bag, look what I bag, look at the chick that I'm hitting, you wouldn't take that so lightly. So, of course, he has to lie to you, sugarcoat it and say, oh, my coworker said you're beautiful, which they probably did. You know, they, you know, they're like, oh, she's attractive. And that makes you feel good because women fall in love with what they hear. But really what it is, is 
the guy looks good it, it it elevates his status because he has a woman that probably looks better than the chicks that the co-workers are dating so this is good for him it doesn't have anything to do with you it's hilarious how women like to flip and put everything on them and make it seem like they you know achieve something when the guy actually got the chick and you held on to him barely because he's your ex now and they try to make it about themselves hilarious but women don't know how men speak and most men don't know how women speak that's why i had to translate let's keep going mind you he tells me what i just said in month three after he's gotten the gifts after he's waited four or five maybe waited five dates for me to kiss him after he did all of that that's when he wanted to humble me I believe it was maybe four days before Valentine's Day. Yeah. Don't underestimate insecure men. Do not, do not, do not, okay? Only, listen, when I tell you, so many ways I can go, so many directions with this video. I'm just gonna say this. If your esteem is healthy, you love yourself, you're like, I'm feeling it, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm that, never date below, never date men below you. No, 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 Date men you're attracted to that are your type, that have money, that have the aesthetic that you want, because these men will humble you. But that's exactly what you did and he did. You weren't with a guy that was outside of your level. You were with a guy that was at the level you found and you thought was attractive. So why are you going back on that? See, this all has to do with her ego. This has nothing to do with what she just said. And you're saying, oh, they've only been dating for three months. And he said this on the three month, four days before Valentine's Day. It's because it only took that long for you to show your true colors. But it only took that long because maybe you held out on him. There's something that you did wrong because men are typically contempt. Men are typically okay with women if they're doing four to five things correctly, which is being feminine, submissive, which is being attractive, staying attractive, uh, not getting on his nerves and not being a hoe. So you may have done one or two of those things before the man actually broke down and gave you a piece of his mind. But that's the thing. Women think that they can do no wrong. What did she just say? If you have high self-esteem, if you love yourself, you, you know, you're beautiful, you're like, I'm beautiful, it doesn't matter if you think you're beautiful. The only time you're gonna get that true validation and really know if you're beautiful or not is if the opposite gender that you find attractive says that you're beautiful. He said it, but it's like, what else do you have other than beauty? You probably have a messed up brain. So the dude had you on his carousel riding his pony for about almost three months. And then he gave you a piece of his mind. That has nothing to do with this guy. And she tries to put it back. Well, I, you know, I feel this way about myself. I have high self-esteem. I'm beautiful. It doesn't matter because the guy and your results is all that matters. What was your result? You became the ex. So just because you became the ex and you only lasted through the sex doesn't mean that the man won't move to the next. That's just how it goes. But women, their egos are so driven on social media tells me this. A guy told me I was beautiful, you know, five times in my six times, seven times, eight times, ten times in my life. So I'm believing that. So if I'm beautiful, everything should come to me. No, no man walks around. I made $10,000 this month, this month, this month. Women should care about me. Women, I'm this. I'm immaculate. I'm, men don't do that. Only women do this, guys. It's ridiculous. But I think she's almost done with her narcissistic uh, rant. Let's go ahead and finish and hear what she has to say at the end. When I even told my friends what they said, they were looking at me and looking at him. They were like, wait, wait, huh? Girl, what? And I was like, but you see, the enemy is looking for that doorway to get in. You can be the most beautiful girl and feel like a piece of, you know what? Simply just because you entertain the wrong man. Heed my warning. In this 2024, in Jesus' name, you will avoid the users, the men that you, they clearly, clearly you're out of their league. And he would tell me things like, I'm so grateful that you chose me. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. I just feel the, the luckiest guy. Oh, honey. 
No, be with a man that's secure in himself. Be with a man that he knows that he's decent looking. He knows that he can actually pull women. Be with the normal guy. Be with the normal guy. Don't go for the ones that are shy and nerdy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Guys, notice how she tries to, instead of blaming herself for making the decision, dealing with this guy for this many months, she just puts it on the men. She just blames it and says, well, you were out of my league and I should have never let you in. And then this was your issue. And the thing is, I don't think this guy didn't lack, conf lack confidence or whatever. I didn't think, I don't think this guy uh, was out of your league. I think that you picked exactly in your league. But the thing was, women don't understand that men will tell you anything that you want to hear to keep you in the sexual rotation, to keep you on that Ferris wheel that I always say. To keep you on the CC, the cock carousel, they'll do anything. They will say anything to keep you in rotation until you figure it out. But you said, oh, well, don't date these type of men that, you know, don't understand their value, that are not confident. You know what I'm saying? That will try to humble you later. The thing is, even if you date a guy that you think is in your league, the guy that is confident, the guy that is cocky, has the ego, has everything going on and can push you to the side. What's going to be worse? The guy that's going to push you to the side, cut you off, and then tell you, uh, uh, not tell you about it later on, put you on the carousel, and then you're making a video feeling worse, or the guy that tried to supposedly humble you, tell you why it didn't work out, hold you, you know, your feet to the fire and give you a little bit of accountability, you know what I'm saying, because this is not all him, it has something to do with, you know what I'm saying, you as well, what's going to be worse? That guy is not going, he's not even going to give you the opportunity to have a conversation, to even talk about him to make a video. He's going to be dealing with another chick. So what's worse, dating a guy who's going to tell you this or a guy who's not going to tell you anything? I say the guy that that is more confident that you're saying that you want, a guy that you think is above your league or, or what you think your standards should be met at, and a guy that has confidence, I think is going to be worse. Because he's not going to tell you these things. He's not even going to give you the opportunity to have a conversation. He's not going to give you any last words. He's going to block you on every account. He's going to block your phone number. And he's going to get ghosts. He's going to turn into Casper and disappear into thin air. And you're going to be like, what the hell happened to him? I I'm telling you, that video that you make about that, your remarks and your rants about that is going to be worse than this video. It's going to be way worse. So women don't know what they want. They will continue to show that they don't know what they want. They're fickle. They don't understand their place. They don't understand that men control access to relationships and they control access to sex. So if you're going to give the sex out, you're going to be dealing with the guy and playing this game how you want to play it. If you want to deal with the guy that you think is on your level, it's going to be way harder for you. And you're going to feel way harder on yourself. And then your ego's really going to come out. Your solipsism is really going to come out. Then you're going to be a complete narc. <laughs> These women don't learn, man. But anyway, man, that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video. Sub to the channel. We'll post notifications on. Because I'm pretty much trying to post a short and a video every single day. Comment for the algorithm. Because I am shadow banned somewhat. I've been getting more views lately. But I appreciate everybody, the new subscribers and the old subscribers returning. I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. Get your passport, guys. I don't know. I don't know why I have to say it. But no, I know why I have to say it. Because it's so important, guys. These videos prove it. I'll see you guys all in the next video, man. I'm tired of these modern women. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Love you all. I'm out.